so i have to bifurcate that the first is the primary goals which are considered to be the basic goals that every higher education institutes which are operating in india or anywhere in this world so they need to meet this goal in a very effective manner like uh, the first one is the employability so employability stands for you know the students should be prepared in a very effective and efficient manner with the all around development and the concepts that they need to learn you know the primary applications of the subject at the same time we also need to teach them uh, the core tools that they need to incorporate with the efficient delivery of their ability in terms of the industrial requirement so that's when they will be able to generate the employment for their own self you know because this is one of the uh, crux and you know this is one of the headache for every higher education institute that how to employ the students and we all know that in today's scenario the students are preferring uh, you know the placement from the college campus so the companies who are intended to come at our campus so we need to provide the quality of the education to the students and that will be reflected at the time of the performance in the in interviews right so employability is one of the important and uh, precisely uh, the things that every organization every institute needs to achieve so once the students will have their own employability the second portion that the higher education institute in the india or any place in the world needs to focus the increasing earning potential so increasing earning potential means it basically consist uh, or it's considered to be basically defined you know in a psychological manner that students should develop their attitude their perception uh, their behavior in such a manner that they should have the good earning capital they should have good earning potential with the acceptance of the changes that is happening in the surrounding just like the changes we consider in the surrounding is that today is in this era everybody needs to adopt the information and communication tools and techniques which have played a significant role in the academics right it is applicable at everywhere so whether the person wants to accept it or whether person don't want to accept it they don't have a choice right because it is a need of an hour in this today's education system that everybody needs to adopt the ict tools and techniques for the effective and efficient delivery of their session and that's where the students can learn the more techniques students have to enhance their more knowledge in terms of the area in which they are belonging that's where they can be in a position to increase their earning capacity time and time again right because learning is a lifelong process we all know that so we keep we need to keep update ourselves whether we are as a faculty or whether the students and that's where it is a matter of developing the right attitude of the students that they need to keep on adopting the changes in the life that has taken place and that's where they will be in a position to increase their earning potential by having more promotion and growth in the future third one is if they wants to do this particular things in terms of the right employment and to have the right potentiality to increase their earnings time and time again the core requirement among the students that every higher educational institute needs to provide that is the advanced knowledge now we need to understand what is the meaning of advanced knowledge is that the knowledge should be required as per the requirement of the today's generation right with the adoption of the changes that has been taken place in the educational system we need to change their curriculum we need to adopt the changes that has been taken place in this curriculum like if we are teaching a management subject but in management subject nowadays uh, we need to adopt the more of the analytical content part or of the communication and technological part because it is a requirement of this today's generation right and that is where uh, the theme of this particular fp page today is this ict tools and resources for the teaching right so we need to adopt this changes in terms of the ict tools and the various resources that has been available with us so that we can groom our students in a more advanced level and that's where they can be able to gain more and more knowledge about their own subjects about their own concept which is a requirement of the today's generation that is where the advanced knowledge is playing a significant role then wisdom yes this is important 
they should have the wisdom in their behavior in their life so that they can have the better employability in the future then research and experimentation which i have already told told you that research and experimentations are happening in this generation with the more advanced information and communication tools and techniques that is ict tools and there are various online resources to which students can apply various tools and techniques in terms of research and experimentation even if the tools are not available so we can realize that students can gain more and more amount of data which is a useful in in their future generation right so even if they need the data for their own research they need to adopt the ict tools and techniques so they can get the relevant data of their study and they can reach to the finding and conclusion and finally they can provide the you know very uh, outcome of the study which is helpful to the society as a whole and that's where uh, you know the overall grooming in the society will take place with the help of ict tools and techniques through the research and experimentation now we need to understand to achieve this primary goal what are the secondary goals that we need to feed uh, so that uh, you know more advanced study and education will be taken place so the first is spiritual growth so spiritual growth is uh, basically concerned about the right attitude the right behavior right what is right attitude and right behavior among the students so we need to understand that students should develop their attitude in such a manner that they should be ready to adopt the changes that has been taken place the works that they have been allotted and they should also understand the timeline to complete their work right so these are the things that we need to teach them and to achieve those things in terms of students we need to you know upgrade themselves with the more advanced tools and techniques that we have available that is the in ict tools and techniques in this today's scenario so it is gaining more and more importance so spiritual growth is one of the requirement for adoption of this ict tools and techniques then mental growth yes so students if they are going with the monotonous education system and if they are going with the more advanced education system with the use of these ict tools and techniques so more and more advanced mental growth will be happen their thinking power their you know their research power their analytical power will grow more and more the way they are expanding their the way they are exploring more and more tools and technologies of the ict tools and techniques and they will increase their mental growth as and when it is required so mental growth is also the one of the aspect that every student needs to achieve then engaging in the questions very important after every training after every exposure of the ict tools and techniques they need to engage themselves into asking the questions to themselves or else the higher education institute also needs to frame certain questions which will focus on the importance of the ict tools and the usage of the ict tools that's where students will come to know where this ict tools and online resources are placing the importance in this higher education system and facilitating better lifestyle right so if the students will achieve this spiritual mental and engaging in questions so believe me they'll have a better lifestyle in terms of right attitude right behavior and right thinking ability right and if they have these three parameters they are ready to adopt the advanced tools and technologies of this today's generation like ict tools so they will have the better lifestyle in their future and the developing scientific outlook right so in whatever stream the students are whether they are in social science they, they are in physical science or any other science they are belonging if they will adopt the ict tools and techniques they will have the more exposure of the various website various software you know various uh, tools you know various blogs reports that they can explore for their own content and they can have the more better output better inputs for the concept in which they are and they can provide more scientific output for the society in the future right so ict tool can help in developing more scientific outlook for the future as well now we need to understand what are the new dimensions of higher education as per in consideration with ict tools and with the resources so we all know that every organization every higher educational institute 
are having the quality education and that's why they are more imposing on the certain parameters like uh, they are more concerned about the brandings of their own educational institute they are more open towards the society in terms of uh, you know the, to solve the queries of the students in terms of the questions that they have for their future prospect and at the same time they are also concerned with the academic quality that they are providing to the society because these three parameters are blindly believed and blindly depends upon the admissions and the visions that they want to achieve in the future right and that's why they are taking the steps in terms of promoting their brands in a more effective and enthusiastic manner by adopting certain changes that has been taken place with the adoption of the ICT tools and various online resources which are in the use of the today's generation or in the today's educational institute so they can have the better words and they are on the toe of the market as per the requirement of the industry and at the same time the requirement of the students and parents right so they need to promote their brand in such a way that they need to convince to the society that they are fulfilling all the requirements of their students for the future prospect and to meet the industry guidelines so this is where the promotion of the brand and the second portion is delivering on the promise of the brand so only promotion will not work once the promotion is done once the institute has received a good number of students at their institute they also need to meet with the expectations of the society right so they need to meet the promise that they have made to the society in terms of delivering their brands so that's why an educational brand is often equated to an institutional academic reputation we all know that every educational institute are known for their brands whether they have achieved nac iso right so every education and the accreditation so every educational institute are going for this kind of accreditation to promote their brand in more efficient manner and to promote this brand they need to get certain accreditation and to get this accreditation every accreditation institute have their own specific requirement that this education institute should meet this certain guidelines in terms of the more advanced tools and technology how effective they are coming out into the market how innovative tools and techniques for the education institute are adopting to promote best education to the society right so this is where the importance will come out and by with this consideration there are two major components of the educational institute that is first is the openness so openness in the terms of they need to deliver some knowledge to the society in terms of the changes that has been taken place in the education system like in today's scenario we all know that every education institute are focusing on the research and ict tools right so we can use, we can see that and we have noticed also that many of the faculty development program you know workshops seminars are organized on such kind of topics like research in different different domains as per the requirements and at the same time the ict tools for the teaching in a nutshell so these are this fdp is also the part of it so we all should understand the importance of the ict tools and the online resources so knowledge and information is also one of them for sharing in the open education system so there are various platforms that students and teachers can materialize for improving their knowledge as a part of ict tools and techniques that is open educational resources if you can go into various website if you go into and an ncrt website if you go to aict ugc website there are lot many resources in terms of various topics and concepts are available if you can browse it it will enhance our knowledge there are many resources who are providing free pdf books journal articles blogs everything is available so how efficiently we are utilizing those resources and taking the benefit out of this particular resources then we have the open access softwares so there are various open access software like uh, if i talk about in research so there is a r software which has been used in uh, you know whether it is scientific analysis or social science analysis so r studio is one of the software where we can generate we can uh, make a tables for the analysis we can make a bar diagrams as per the requirement of the study so all things are possible with the use of this online software called r 
then we have MOOC courses, open sources and massive open online courses that is MOOC courses. So in, in whichever in whichever science you are, whether it is physical science, social science or science itself, right? All sort of courses are available for all the different different topics with the use of this information and communication technological tools. So you can subscribe over there, whether it is paid or free in whichever mode you want to go as per the requirement and you can enroll for this particular courses and you can get the certified of yourself for that particular things this is possible with the use of ict tools and technical parameters right and regarded as a form of openness right so yeah, uh, earlier the education system was you know very restricted you know uh, they were not ready to share their knowledge but with the invention of the ict tools this is possible even we are conducting this faculty development program two days on the online mode so this is the invention of ict tools this is possible because of ict tools and we all are the part of it and we all are getting the benefit i'm on the delivery side also i'm getting the benefit right because i will also learn the new things from the participants also as part of feedback so this is possible with the use of the ict tools as a whole right okay so three dimension of ICT tools uh, that we all need to understand. So what are these three dimensions of ICT tools that we need to understand first? So first is creativity, right? So you want, if you want ICT tools, so ICT tools are not that much difficult, but at the same time, they are not easy to digest, right? So for that, the first and foremost thing that is required from the learner side, whether it is from the students or the faculty is to have the creativity, right? And creativity comes from the open mindset, right? How much open you are, how much creative you are, how much you are ready to adopt the changes that has been taken place in the market. And that is how you can bring the creativity in your work, right? So how much creative you are, depending on that, you can bring the more and more, uh, you know, changes in yourself as a part of enhancement of knowledge and you can make your delivery of the session more advanced and fruitful right so this is where the creativity plays a big significant role in the market so this is creativity the second portion which is required is the competitiveness very important because the market is very competitive jobs are not easily available so the biggest questions that will come in the life of the students that why the company will hire to them right and that's where students needs to answer in terms of showing their capability to convince the company that these things i have possessed and that will come with the efficient use of ict tools and techniques where they have already have gone through many articles blogs various tools and techniques that they can reflect at the time of getting the employment in the placements, right? So they have to be competitive. They are aware about the market. They are aware about the present scenario. So this is all possible with the use of ICT tools, right? Earlier, uh, there are many web, uh, are you, what you can say websites or you can say mobile applications for all the newspapers. So students can have the access of all the newspaper. Even I was going through one of the, uh, uh, what I can say, mobile application so let's i want to share it with you there is one application of one of the prestigious newspaper called business standard right so i used to have this practice with my students that uh, they should come out with a daily basis of the newspaper articles so i will provide one article to them today so they will discuss it to, uh, tomorrow so what we have done it earlier we had a subscription of the uh, newspapers to, for the students but now we'll come to know that business standard is providing mobile application where students can have their own ID password and access with the Gmail. So under this business standard newspaper, so if you are subscribing newspaper with the paid version, you are only getting newspaper. But if you are going with the mobile application for the reading of newspaper, you will have the short summary of the news. You know, you will have the PDF of the news you will have the case studies of that particular news. Even students will have the quizzes for that particular day's newspaper. So you can see the 
you know importance of this so it's not like that that students have only learned or only read the news but at the same time if you want to conduct your classes with the gk news and everything so you can use this particular uh, you know mobile application so it is very effective in terms of enhancing the students knowledge uh, with the uh, you know with the attachment of the more of the present scenario so students can gain the more and more benefit out of it so this is where we are building the efficiency and effectiveness among the students so students can become more and more competitiveness uh, build up and they are ready for the market and they can get the better employment in the market so this is where the competitiveness and the third part is collaboration so this is very important that uh, you know students should also learn the uh, organizing efforts among the, uh, the uh, you know different different departments right they should learn how to collaborate the efforts with the different different aspects so at the same time when students are on the learning side from the higher education side so they need to understand that collaboration means they should also learn uh, you know the books learning at the same time they should also understand the importance of the online tools and resources that are available with them with the respective subjects and to maximum utilization of this particular resources to gain the more and more knowledge and to enhance their creativity and ability as a whole and with this if the students have gone through this three process in terms of creativity competitiveness building and collaboration so as a whole what students will gain that is the harmony in the society right so harmony in the society will bring when students have the proper employability you know they are happy with the life they are serving in this today's scenario so that is where if this is the situation for everyone in the society so this is where the harmony will come bring out right and that is why we have heard uh, you know uh, the harmony index for every countries right so this is where the harmony will come with the use of the modern scenario in terms of utilization of ict tools and online resources with the implementation of the higher educations in respective countries what are the types of ict tools that are available so youtube's yes if any content if you are not aware if you want to go into detailed description of any topics any content in any stream youtube is a medium which you can access you can get the videos of it and you can maximum utilize of this particular website right so youtube is one of the important things even if you don't know anything even if you're not aware about any part or any concept but if you are going with the youtube browsing you can get all things together right so youtube is everything wikipedia so wikipedia is a uh, you know article based uh, software access so wikipedia will provide everything article uh, you know previous definitions uh, author's views concept knowledge meanings so all things are there in a printed form right so you can go you can read and you can take your material with this use of wikipedia so wikipedia you can have the written form articles to make your own material so you can use this wikipedia as a part of preparing your lecture notes or whatever you are require in the requirement so wikipedia then google groups so ict tools in terms of google groups gmail you all are aware about that so then you have a google calendar also if you want to set your timings if you want to set your own calendars in terms of reminders alarms so everything is possible with the use of google calendar then you have google drive so very good access right so you have 15 gb data access and apart from that you can access with the paid version on a monthly basis or yearly basis subscription so you can share your data on google drive so it will be safe and easy to access at any point of time if you required you can have this access in your mobile phone as well then you have the google contacts so you can create a backup of your all the contacts in the mobile phone so as and when you lost your mobile phone but you will not lose your contacts so this is possible with the use of google contacts you have different different google groups where you can create a groups of uh, multiple people so if you want to communicate uh, to the multiple people at a one single point of time so you can have the email id of this people and you can create a groups among the different different people 
either it could be a family group or either it could be uh, you know educational group or uh, unofficial group as well so then you have uh, the google chat so google chat you can also use it for official purpose under that also you can create a groups and just like a whatsapp groups that we have we can create a google chat groups under which we can paste the links of the online classes with the access of the students right so if you want if you don't want to go for the uh, whatsapp group for entire classes and if you want to communicate with a limited number of people so we can create a google chat under which we can have the chatting for all the official and unofficial communication as per the requirements of the uh, users that we can go for it google quiz google forms that we have for conduction of the online survey so with the google form you can have the conduction of the survey where you can share the links of the google form with the uh, you know respondent so respondent will fill it and you will have the responses within a fraction of second at the, the moment they will submit right and also you can take the google quizzes on the online right and the moment they will submit their quiz your results are ready so you don't have to go with the monotonous checkings of the paper so this is what is possible with the invention of the various ict tools and resources for the higher educational institute then google docs very important it is equivalent to microsoft word so if you are using microsoft word you need to type the content for all the data that you have you need to type your document and you need to prepare your details right but if you are going with the google docs so google docs is a facility where you can speak the content and the contents will be typed automatically so you don't have to indulge yourself uh, in a typing activity so the moment you try speak your data so data will automatically get typed and you can submit your data with just a formatting part right so google docs is one of the important tools it is equivalent to microsoft word so you can uh, you know you can save your data of microsoft word into google docs as well as a part of safety and security for the future with the use of ict tools then we can have the access of blogs we can go for various good bloggers blog we can access those blogs and we can get the enough knowledge enough updates about the topic in which we are and the same thing we can deliver to our students but the first and foremost important is that we being a teacher we being a faculty we also need to adopt such changes so if we have digest those things in a effective manner then and then only we can be able to uh, you know uh, divert these things to our students otherwise it is not possible right so that we need to understand that we should digest the things in a very effective and efficient manner right so blogs are one of them google maps you all are aware that wherever you wants to go or if you want to search out any location by sitting at your home uh, with the distance time needs to be taken to reach over there so google map is one of the tools that we all can access right okay then slide share yes if you need any slides ready made slides on the topic that you need to teach if you have not prepared any material and if you need to take a classes within an hour so slide share is an option where you can get the content of the slides on the topic that you want to hunt for and you can efficiently utilize the slide share so slide share has the material for all the screen all the lines so you can have your online account google account so if you log in so slide share is available with us important sources of information so wiki space where we can get the daily updates of the recent news and things that are happening in the surrounding so wiki space is one of that tool for getting the daily updates and information then skype is the way or medium through which we can connect through the online with the video meetings right and we can chat we can connect with each other uh, you know virtually so skype was used earlier now it is no more in much use because there are more advanced ict tools that has been already taken place in the market like we are now connected with the google meet right zoom are also there so skype is not in much use it was a social media so social website for video chatting then dropbox is one of the two 
facebook is a social media very important for all of us whether we are looking for any social information very if we are looking for any un unofficial information or the, whether we are looking for any official information whether we are looking for any physical educational information whether we are looking for any management information whether we are looking for any business performance information stock market related information everything is available on facebook with the daily updates on their official facebook pages right so even if you are not going with any of the website and if you are keep checking facebooks on a daily basis uh, with a limit uh, with a daily time period so you will keep yourself updated what is happening in your surrounding right so facebook is one of the important tools that everybody has their access in this facebook on the mobile phone as well so you all are well versed about uh, this importance of the facebook right then twitters yes so twitter is a medium where you need to create an accounts and you can provide your opinion arguments suggestions favor on particular topics on particular decisions that has been taken by any authority or any government right so twitter handling is one of the important tools where you can uh, you know look for the opinions arguments and suggestions that has been given by the famous stars famous authors famous analyst right or even from the different different ministry of the government of india so twitter is one of the tools for handling such kind of news and articles and opinion okay then uh, we have the digo is also the one of the uh, media where we can get the access of all the information so you all can go with the digo and you will access all the kind of information in all the stream that you are looking for so digo is one of them slide share we have already covered then mozilla firefox is a search engine so if you are not using google chrome or internet explorer so you can go with the mozilla firefox so you can search any website even you can search the google and you can have all the information with you with the use of it and google chrome is also the search engine right so these are the important sources of information for all of us then what is the role of icd tools so the icd tool plays a ray of hope in this pandemic right so we all had faced a pandemic situations before 2 3 years back even in some countries it is still going on right so at that point of time icd tool has played a major role how we will see now so at that point of time the icd tool was the on the uh, option for all the higher educational institute right to provide uninterrupted education to their students not for the higher education also for all the corporates and companies who are operating their operations right even if he wants to keep all the it companies all the engineering or even all the segments of the company if they wants to keep update from their employees if they wants to keep the meetings with their employees opinion you know the feedback so they were possible uh, with the connection of the meetings that they were conducting either through the google meet zoom meeting you know or any other mediums that they have the access right so at that point of time icd tool was the only part where the students can get the education and where the corporate can get the work that they want to desire from their employees right so icd tool was an integral part of that part to that time and now gradually all have adopted icd tools in this pandemic and now all are aware about the icd tools right so that's why it is told that it is a ray of hope in the pandemic right so if people will tell ki bhai you have to adopt so at that time they will not adopt but icd but the pandemic has forced people to adopt such tools and techniques to have the efficient and hassle free learning and uh, uh, you know delivery process so that's why icd is now an integral part of today's teaching learning process as face to face interaction among teachers and students was bit difficult in the pandemic right so that's possible so all the countries over the globe have used icd tools for all the teaching learning process for facilitating information dissemination and communication in all the areas of teaching learning process right whether they wants to give some information to the students even if they wants to conduct the quizzes even they wants to conduct the exams even they wants to uh, you know take the assignment submission 
they can take it through the google classrooms and uh, you know various other modes that they have even through the emails also that was possible but this is a part of ict tools and online resources now what are the benefits of using the ict tools in a better manner so the first one is to motivate the students so it motivates the students that make session more attentive and interesting so in physical classroom uh, there are certain limitations that you have the chalk and talk but apart from that you do not have any access to search any concept or any terminology that students have not understood but with the ict use of ict tools if students have not understood any of the terminology in the session they can go for the googling and they can have the idea about the concept and they can rejoin the session with the proper understanding with this is possible with the use of ict tools earlier we used to say to the students if you don't understand you need to bring oxford dictionary with a you know, physical form micro copy you know to have a google access in the classroom but now with the use of ict tool this is now possible you know the history is now uh, you know the dream was now it is a possibility so this is what it's possible with the use of ict tool then it re-energize teachers motivation yes so teachers have the flexibility of working hours when they are going to conduct the classes online you know because they don't have to indulge into administration of the classes so they can effectively and efficiently deliver their lectures without any hesitation and without any hurdles so this is re-energize teachers motivation teachers can also learn new skills and techniques as a part of use of ict tools and techniques with having the access of different sources where they can access the material free of cost and uh, paid versions with the use of higher educational subscription then help students to understand the concept clearly yes because students those who wants to learn they can have your they can have their monitors in front of them they can have the better uh, presentation better visibility better audi audibility everything is possible with the use of ict tools and without any noise and disturbance from the classes this is possible with the use of ict tools now the integration of ict tools in teaching in general and teachers education in particular is a need of the day right so now it is an integral part of the teaching learning process and no one can deny this particular fact and that's why the use of icts can make substantial changes both for teaching and training mainly in two way the first changes is the rich representation of information changes learners perception and understanding of the context so if your presentation is rich so might be before my presentation might be there are few people who are not ready uh, with the ict tools but might be with my convincing power whatever i have it so might be there are certain uh, faculties or students the audience you have might be have uh, changed their perception and that changes in perception in positive or negative both the ways are possible right so but we are to uh, talking in terms of positive way that representation will leads to change in the perception of your target audience and they can have the better understanding in that particular context and secondly ict tool has fast distribution and easy access of information which changes the perception of teachers and the teaching methods and that is with the powerful support of educational innovation right so education has bring many innovations in this and an ict tool is the major innovation that has been bring by the education system and that is where this is the benefit of using the ict tools and techniques in the higher educational institute okay next uh, there are a few comments on ict tools at the time of pandemic so from the ict in the schools of government of the uk they have commented that ict is used as a tool for whole school improvement during this critical time right so this school has completely depend on the ict tools when the covid pandemic was going on a hugely powerful medium of transforming teaching and learning and make it unstoppable right so it was a powerful medium so even people were not meeting to each other even people were hospitalized that are going on but still the teaching learning process was uninterrupted and without any hesitation and without any hurdles and that is possible with the use of ict tools and online resources about the mayo demonstration school of science and technology usa has given the command that what is critical about the success of mayo is not the use of technology right so 
this is one of the school in usa and they are talking about their success story that is not only the use of technology but the expectations of children and educators to work collaboratively in the pandemic situation right so earlier in my slide there was one word that is collaboration to bring the harmony in the society so whenever the changes are happening we need to adopt it we need to learn efficiently effectively enthusiastically and with this the collaborative effort from both the side will bring the harmony in the whatever work that you are doing so that is what the mayo school is saying then apple classroom for tomorrow's project is the broader implication for schooling become apparent meaningful use of technology in schools they realize that the difficult time and goes far beyond just dropping technology into classroom so even the pandemic even school was not realized that education was interrupted it was going all and all around so it was uninterrupted this during pandemic with the use of ict tools and classrooms are going very smoothly so by the time our sites were reporting new kits of outcomes for the students and they had witnessed what amounted to a transformations of their learning culture right so students have noticed and teachers have also noticed a significant amount of transformation in the knowledge of the students and their culture right so this is what the comment of the apple classroom for tomorrow's project why we need ict in higher education so nowadays we cannot only rely on face to face education right even uh, many of the universities and colleges have started their degrees online with the approval of ugc and eict so now it has gained a significant changes so now everybody needs to learn the media of delivering the session right so for that they need to learn how to make an effective powerful presentation how to make effective delivery of your session you know how to have the handlings of the various technological uh, things that you needed to deliver your classroom so you cannot restrict yourself to the knowledge of your own concept but you need to learn every other aspect in terms of directly or indirectly affected with the use of ict tools and techniques to deliver your session so in conventional teaching most of the time is consumed for the input and output and less time for the process so conventional teaching means we are talking about physical classroom so under that there were more time was consumed for input and output and less time for process means there is no brainstorming was going on we just have a input and output right teacher was delivering the session and he was just taking the quiz or uh, examinations after the delivery of the session but in this we have a sufficient time to uh, you know have the process in terms of taking the queries of the people and the benefit will goes to the entire audience as they all are connected with without any hesitation and disturbance so this is possible with the use of ict tools so teaching with the ict the input and output time is reduced and process time has increased so you know to handle the classes you know to have the setup in the classroom that time has been reduced and the more brainstorming timing has increased that is called process time you know i have the more timing for the delivery of my session my session was sharply started at 12:30 and i can deliver till 1:30 so this is possible with the use of ict to night and i don't have to handle my classes right all uh, if this is a students classroom so this is possible with the use of ict and when the process time is increased what is the benefit so the time of students activities discussion correlation with other subjects brainstorming and learning etc will increase you know so the one important parameter is when students are coming for the physical classroom they need to adopt the transportation timing uh, you know the lecture switching timing technicality setup timing so these timings are uh, you know is a input output process right so this is what is has been increased in physical classroom and this has been completely negligible in terms of ict classrooms right so that is online classrooms now ict tools blessing in disguise for students perspective so it is a mixed model of textbook and technology so students have the access of online textbook also and at the same time they have the access of technology if they wants to learn something extra out of the concept given in the textbook so they can have have easy access of various paid software various free software various free materials on the online mode right then it has been evolved as a platform for new learning to sow in that seeds of creativity right so it has been evolved as a new platform of learning as a part of creativity ict tool gives access to the students to do any courses at any point of time right uh, we all know that 
we are forcing our students to go for uh, swayam mooc courses where all the stream courses are available at free of cost there are certain courses with the chargeable also there are other software also like coursera and everything so we are guiding our students in this direction it is a cost friendly uh, tools that every students can have it so even they are located in the uh, you know remote area they just need their internet connection and they can have the access of all the classes all the materials and all the information that they are looking for that particular topics or you know now from teachers perspective so ict tools are empowering them and helping them even in the time of epidemic to connect with the fellow teachers virtually and to continue their teaching to reduce the loss of education to children and improve the things further right it fills the broad gap between the excess of variety of content in different languages and those who do not have so earlier this was happening that there are certain students who have the excess of the physical books and there are certain students who have we doesn't have the excess of the physical books but this uh, you know bifurcation has been now removed and if you have it or if you do not have it if you go on google and if you search for any content there are many websites there are many portals where you have the n number of material for n number of topics as per your requirement so you can have the access of it and you can enrich your knowledge with efficient use of ict tools and online resources so that's why ict tools have the power to make teachers to reach an unlimited number of students which was not possible in the physical classroom right so physical classroom has its own limitations where online classroom we can connect 200 even if you are going with the youtube streaming so thousands and lakhs of people can join together at a single point of time so this is possible with the use of ict tools especially in a rural context right as i have already discussed so where drop out rates are higher and students do not attend schools on a regular basis because they are suffering from many of the hurdles like a transportation uh, barriers you know economical barriers so there are so many barriers are there so that students can have the significant benefit out of this ict tools now modern tools of ict in teaching learning process so these are the uh, various courses like swayam we all know that it is sponsored by mhrd government of india so uh, teachers and students can enroll in this courses and they can certify them for the area in which they want to uh, expertise right coursera under which there are various national and international universities have uh, you know put their courses on a paid basis you can have the harvard uh, courses you can have the yale university courses you can have the oxford university courses in the coursera with the efficient and uh, you know very experienced faculties they have put their courses they have the quizzes you know materials all these aspects are available with the use of coursera then you have the harvard university portal where you can access the material the things that you are looking for you have the byju for the primary sec uh, secondary education so students have the material for all the subjects that they are looking for that is byju you have i am bangalore who are offering certified courses online so students and teachers can go and enroll themselves for the different different courses google is also providing uh, certified courses like one of the courses i have put over here that is digital marketing course so uh, depending on the area in which you are you can search those courses and you can certify yourself iit madras and there are many other uh, academical institution in india like i am ahmedabad i am uh, indore all are providing such kind of courses on their official website so you can go and access and enroll yourself whether it is free or paid as per the requirement of your area fine so online classroom teaching tools zoom uh, you have a class in where you can conduct a meeting go to meeting you have microsoft teams google meet fullodi and big blue button right so these are the various modes of conducting online classes so you can go and easy access of all these classes so that uh, you know at any point of time if you are stuck up so you can easily connect with the target audience that you are looking for online quiz platform google form we have already talked about it think exams is one of the mode flexi quiz tesmos.com pro pros these are one these are the some glimpse of it i am not saying that these are the only platform there are various other platforms that are available 
But yes, this is possible with the use of these ICT tools. So you can conduct the quizzes and exams online. And the moment students will subject their response, the results will be generated with the gradings and mark system as well, right? If you go to tesmos.com, they have the grading system as well, right? So this is possible with the use of ICT tools. So other common tools like uh, government has started an initiative on Doordarshan that on every Sunday, uh, 8 to 9, there are maths classes, English grammar classes at the time of pandemic. So this is possible with the live streaming of the classes online on television mode with the use of ICT tool, right? And that program was called Diksha, that is to let's learn English, right? So for English learning, there was one program called Diksha was going on. So I see the resources for education, what you needed. So these are the resources. You need your monitor, you need your projector, you need your PC or laptop, and you need appropriate software, whether you want to present, whether you want to write, or whether you want to calculate, right? So as per the requirement, you need these resources to successful delivery of your session at the higher educational institute. So future role of a teacher, that teachers, is not uh, only the teachers, but they are the character builders for the students. So teacher needs to uh, teach them the ethics for using the ICT tools and techniques, and they should not divert their time in the wrong usage of that particular tools. So in this tech generations, right, so approximately uh, within a few years, ICT tools will be the compulsion for all the higher education institute in India and across the globe. And that is where the technology has influenced the educations in a significant manner, right? So teachers, those who are expert in the use of ICT tools, they can better sustain in the market at the same time, the students as well. So this is the future roadmap for India, India to enhance ICT infrastructure. So in a nutshell, it is talking about that government needs to take certain steps to mitigate the network connectivity issues. You know, uh, government needs to come out with the mobile towers so that students have the internet connectivity. You know, uh, Bharat Net projects where government needs to provide proper infrastructure to have the proper broadband connectivity, whether it is for higher education institute, corporate, or even for the household people as well, because it is required for everywhere. Government needs to come out with uh, significant data packs, you know, student friendly, employee friendly. Right, so uh, the cost will get reduced. You know, ICT tool should be more user friendly in the coming time period. It should be available in the pocket in terms of mobile phones, in mobile applications. Right, so ICT tools now will enter into the schools also. So school people can also have the access of it. I have seen many schools that they are conducting their weekend classes on the Zoom or Google Meet platform. So this is possible with the use of ICT tools. Right, so. Uh, what you have experienced uh, in your own work with regards to the use of ICT tools and resources. So you can ask yourself in your organization, what kind of adoption that your organization have, you can identify the gap and you will try to breach the gap with your proper suggestions to your higher authority in terms of the requirement of your organization. Right. So if you have noted any changes, so you can describe to your management. So uh, that's it from my side. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask.